Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. I'm Rebecca, the creator of Ganchi Plans printables at ganchiplans.com slash shop. Uh, and every month I do a video going over the new inserts released in the previous month to give you an idea of my thought process uh, behind designing them, how I use them in my own planner setup, and hopefully to give you some ideas for your own planning. This month, I only released one listing, um, but it is for 10 inserts in a bundle. And I'm so excited about this particular product. Um, I poured so much of my time, my love into this, and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and show it to you. Okay, no more build up. This month's bundle is a pregnancy insert bundle. I have had this idea since the very beginning and I finally got around to putting in all of the effort and work to get this done. As you see, there are actually 10 inserts all in this one bundle. Um, and so you pay one price for the whole thing. Um, and so it's A through J and this is insert 40. I thought that was fitting because there's 40 weeks in a pregnancy. Um, but I included from basically week well, in some cases one, but in most cases week four through 42, um, because I know that the you know variation of pregnancy can vary, uh, especially near the end there, it seems like time slows down. Um, I bought for myself a, a bundle of pregnancy inserts when I was pregnant with my first daughter, and that insert started at week one, which didn't make any sense because you're not even pregnant in week one, so why would you be logging stuff? So um, in any case, let's jump in and go through each individual one, see how I envision them being used, and some, give you some ideas. Um, if you yourself are expecting or you know someone who is, um, I think that a lot of these would be very useful. So the very first one is a calendar that tells you basically how many months and how many weeks pregnant you are at any given date. So there's some data up at the top, last period, conception, due date, and then the year, because you'll need to know what year, or in most cases, more than one year uh, this is for. So then on month one, whenever that is, it, this is a week start, like a Monday start for the week. But um, you say, okay, the month here is, say, you know, what is it now, May? If you found out you're pregnant right now, um, in May, then you would be around here, right? So you'd put May here. And then whatever week um, each of these weeks is, you put in this column here. Does that make sense? You put the actual dates um, along here, and then you would, you know, keep track at whatever point of, you know, whatever day your, uh, your week ticks over. You say, like, I am four weeks pregnant on the Tuesday or the Thursday of, of this week in May, right? Um, and then there's room for some notes here. You can put things like a viability dates or, you know, any kind of notes. There's space. So you may as well use it. Um, month nine, as you notice, is longer than the rest uh, because up to your due date here, that's full term. But then you can, most doctors, I think, will let you go up to about 42 weeks before talking about induction or at least before actually doing induction. Um, this like some of the other inserts that I've done, it has two different ways to print it out. So if you want it to be an open spread like this, you would use the top half here. You want it to be um, back back to back, you would ha use this one here. Um, and if you know, print it back to back. The pocket size is the only one that has two pages per page, if that makes sense, uh, that it's cut in half. And so it's basically a four page insert for the other sizes. Um, if that doesn't matter for you, just print it all out and then use what you like. Hopefully that's the way that all of these are designed, is that if you don't think about it, you'll still find something useful as far as your page layout. Uh, let's move on, number letter B. Uh, this one I spent the entire month working on. Um, I did all of this artwork by myself on a drawing tablet that I got for this purpose. Um, I'm kind of excited about it. So. These are basically pregnancy by the week. Every uh, week of your pregnancy, there's basically you can track all of your symptoms and stuff. So, you know, what date, uh, weight and blood pressure, if you're tracking those or if you find them out at a doctor's appointment, tells you what size your baby is, what fruit size. Um, and so if you notice here, like there's 40, week 42, 40 and week five on the same page, these uh, are designed to be printed out as a traveler's notebook insert as well. So if you print them all out back to back, then you will be able to fold it into a, a, a notebook or, you know, a little booklet that way. And um, otherwise cut down the middle, it still works. But that is why the formatting may seem a little bit strange on the computer. 
Um, it goes all the way from week four, like I said, to week 42, because before week four, you usually don't find out that you're even pregnant. Some people don't find out until even after that. Um, there's space here for cravings, aversion, symptoms, and then any other notes um, just having to do with how we are feeling. And it's a nice way to look back and say like, oh man, this SPD has been bugging me since week 20, whatever, or for, you know, record keeping for the next time or, or whatever, have some, some good journaling there. Insert C is an appointment log. So the date of your appointment, time, how many weeks you're going to be, uh, your provider, I put provider and a doctor because maybe you have a midwife or whatever. Um, and then location, because I don't know, mine often are different places, or at least it was for this last pregnancy. They kept moving around because um, I was pregnant during a pandemic. If you haven't been around, <laughs> I was pregnant in 2020. Um, and so they kept moving our appointments to different locations. But maybe you have, you know, your scans in somewhere else. And then notes, um, you know, they're going to do a urine test, so don't pee beforehand, or they're going to do a blood test, so don't eat beforehand, or whatever. That, those kinds of notes, or you know, drop off the baby at the sitter before you go or anyway, the, yeah, the, I thought that that would be a useful, basically keep track of your appointments before they come up where they all are. This one is pretty simple questions for the doctor. Um, it doesn't say for doctor cause again, maybe you're seeing a midwife, but, uh, basically you put your question and then there's space for a little bit of an answer for each one. Very simple. Some of these are more complicated than others. This one also very simple, but hopefully useful. I know when I was planning, especially for my first baby, there's so many things to do. So I was Googling, um, you know, other search engines are available. I was searching for checklists by month of, you know, in maybe say by month seven, you should have your hospital bag packed. And by month six, you should, you know, be attending classes or whatever. And so I really helped found it useful to have a checklist per month. So you can sort of plan ahead and say, all right, I don't have to worry about my registry yet, but I will do that when I'm so many w months pregnant. Um, and then you just put it on there. This one is also formatted to print for a traveler's notebook as well, by the way. So there's also, uh, goes all the way to postpartum at the end. So stuff like requesting the birth certificate or, you know, whatever things, um, ordering your breast pump. Sometimes you can't do that until after the baby's born. Anything that needs to be done afterwards goes here. And that's super useful because your brain will possibly have gone missing by then. The rest is just grid pages, so nothing is wasted as far as space. And if you don't know how many months you are, I refer you back to insert one or A. So there you go. Uh, insert F, uh, this is 040 F, um, kit counts. So later on in your pregnancy, if you haven't gotten there yet, the doctor will probably ask you to do some kit counts. So like once a day, so you put the date, you um, pay attention to the time, put your start time here, and then just check off whenever you get your 10 kicks then put the end time. Your doctor wants to know how long it took your baby to kick 10 times. So, you know, maybe it takes three minutes, maybe it takes 15 minutes. They just want to know that. And, um, they will probably give you some sort of card. I found it was often easier to keep my own records in a way that made sense to me. And I thought that this made sense to me. So hopefully that works for you. There's plenty. I think if you were using the pocket size, printing out two pages of this, it would probably last you your entire um, kick counting tenure. <laughs> Insert G, uh, baby names. So on one side you have boy names, the other is girl names, first and middle. So you can uh, jot it down and give some ideas. I, I thought it was useful to have first and middle both so that you can, you know, match them, mix and match them or see how they look together. I also, um, just strategy that we used personally is uh, we, me and my husband each made our own list and then compared them. And we actually found that we had some overlap, even though we hadn't really talked about it. So uh, hopefully that would be the case for you too. Then hospital packing list, go bag, basically just a check box of how many things you want to bring. And then you can check them off when you have them. The don't forget section is for anything like say you only have one phone charger or one, um, you know, you want to make sure to bring your planner or your phone or whatever it is that you don't want to forget that you're currently using. So it can't go into the go bag that goes at the bottom. Um, and then you can hand this to <laughs> your uh, significant other and they can grab that stuff for you because you will be contracting and in no fit state to be doing all that yourself. Insert I is labor notes. This also, you probably would want some help. I personally, and I know that I'm, I am 
somewhat unique in this, but also not the only one because I know a lot of the kind of people who use planners um, tend to be a little bit anal about this. I really wanted to be able to retell my story accurately. Um, and so I was trying to take some notes at the time, um, but you know, it would be useful, I think, to have this kind of insert to be able to note how things were progressing in your labor so that you can tell the story accurately so you can remember it for yourself accurately later. So whatever time the update is, you put here uh, how dilated, effaced, and at what station the baby is, if you know that for that particular check-in, and then put some notes, you know, like, oh, Dr. Checked said that, you know, uh, they're ready to break my waters or, you know, or time to check into the hospital or we headed to the hospital at this time or, you know, hydrotherapy is working, uh, whatever kind of notes you want to do, however many lines that takes, then the next line you just put the time again. So that's why it's just a column like this. So this, sec this note section can be as long as it needs to be. I hope that makes sense. And then the final insert is once all of that labor is done, uh, you will be in a bit of a postpartum haze and your doctor is going to ask you stuff like how many times did your baby poop and what time did they eat last and blah, blah, blah. Um, so this is the baby care log. There's actually like a free version of this that's posted on an old blog post of mine. So if you happen to be in pocket size and this is the only one you want, you can go get that for free. Um, this is fancier, prettier a little bit, but that does exist. This is based off of that. So basically you've got a 24 hour day because your day is now 24 hours long. Um, it shows you on for the first week, day one through eight in some cases only goes up to day six it just depends on the size of uh of the insert that you're working with so on pocket size it goes through day eight that shows you specifically how many i'll zoom in a little bit um how many wet and dirty diapers sorry back up to here we go day one two three four the only one like one wet diaper per day of life for the first week one to two dirty one two to three dirty um and then just like when that happened, so you can keep track that way. Um, and then also when they fed, you can keep track of left, right, or how many ounces they drank if they're drinking bottles. Um, just so you can know when that happened because, you know, early on the baby might not be giving hungry cues every time. And so you need to, you know, feed the baby every two to three hours. Of course, your doctor will tell you all this, but the point is that they ask a lot of impertinent questions about bowel movements. So you have to be able to give those answers. And I found that this 24 hour format worked really well for that. Um, pragmatically, practically, as far as printing goes, um, this pocket size again does have two pages per sheet. Um, but if you notice that the dated ones, say just day one through whatever, are on the bottom here and here. So that's just front and back. Everything else says so just says day blank. So that's also the top row. And I will link up in the corner a, um, a short video I did. Basically what you can do is just print on half of the page. So that way, if you're, you're done, you know, obviously not gonna go back to day one, um, but if you need more of these, you can just print just the top half and that will work for you. Um, same thing with every other insert. There is a, a pair of pages that looks just like the top half here so that you can print more of these if you need them. Um, I usually, f I think I found that after the two week visit, the doctor's not really asking those questions anymore. So that's about roughly how many I needed. Um, and that's what we have got, that's everything. And I hope that you think that that's a good value for all of those inserts. Um, there is a link down below, I didn't mention that, uh, down in the description to where you can find this insert on my shop. Thanks so much for watching. I know a pregnancy bundle is not for everyone in every stage of their life, but I hope that if you liked what you saw here today, you might share this with your uh, mom friends, anybody who might be interested. Um, like I said, I've really enjoyed working on this, and so I hope that you like it too. I post videos all about my planner system every Thursday, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.